driver's seat. Steer left and right using the right thumbstick. Drive forward and in reverse with the left thumbstick. Okay, here we go. Hello guys, Crew 438 here. Welcome to more Mill Arms Glitch in the System. In the last episode, we saved Droid Town, sort of. And this episode, we're doing this. If you actually listen to Krunk in that little cinematic, he told you how to drive this thing. Well, what we're in is called a rat. And, um, now that's level... This level can kind of be a, a pain in the ass if you're on normal mode because you have to avoid not taking damage. If you're easy, you can just go crazy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, shit. That's not good because you're, this is a timed level, as you can see. And basically what happens is well, I guess it doesn't necessarily happen, but basically, if you run out of time, you lose. So we got a bunch of bastards firing at us and these other rats. This is a rat that Krunk actually stole. If you were um, paying attention to the last episode, which hopefully you were, because GG, no. So, um. What should I talk about here? I guess I should go over the controls if you're playing the GameCube version. If you are playing the GameCube version, basically, you use the Y button to enter and exit the driver's seat. Fucking hell. You steer left and right using the C stick. And, um, move forward and in reverse with the control stick. That's on the GameCube version. I don't know what it is on the PS on the PS2 version. Cause I I I I don't I don't really research stuff about PlayStation or anything like that. Holy crap. But yeah, if you're on like normal mode or higher, you have to avoid taking damage at all by all means, because it's so easy to take damage in this level. See did you see how that guy like pretty much hijack not hijacked but like jumped us. I have lost because that guy landed on me before. I'm not even kidding. Now I don't know if that's because I now granted I don't know if that's because I had low health or not. Or if fucking like I had or if like it was an instant kill. I don't know. It was just kind of bull crap. Crazy. Rat driving is really crazy. Now I think this um is um the way this the rat controls is like a popular way of how vehicles are controlled in normal games. Like I think Halo uses the same method as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. So yeah. I remember when I was a, when I was a lot younger, like I I couldn't do this level for the life of me. I actually had to pay my older brother five bucks to beat this level for me. It was the same case with other levels that I couldn't beat. Ah oh, shit, we are probably going to die. Ah crap. Shit. Okay, we're close to the end here. And there we go. Beat it.
Brooks is a funny character. Boy, I tell you. And we got Speed Chip, which was actually unintentional. So, gee. That's actually easier to get on normal mode. On easy mode, this secret, uh, this speed chip is a pain in the ass. There are no secret chips on this level because you can't actually get out of the rat. But anyway, let's move on to the next level. It's only five minutes in. We are standing in midair, guys. Holy crap. Do you see that? I see that. So I'm anyway, walking across this very unstable looking bridge. Don't worry, it doesn't break. Anyway, though. Look at this dark environment. We got a new gun here, this is the Scatter Blaster. Basically, it's a short range gun, very good for short range combat, and it's good against enemies, it's, it does best against enemies while they're close up. But anyway, look at this place guys. Doesn't it just look like something could jump at us at any minute? Like something supernatural or something. Keep saying something. Well, that's exactly what you have to expect out of this level. Oh boy, guys. This one could be tough. As you can see, or maybe you can't, I don't know. There's some milgrams getting beat, beat up by this jerk. This is called a zombie bot. Oh boy, if you play this game, you hate these guys. Especially when especially when you are a kid like me. Or especially when you had trouble with these guys when you were younger. Cuz Oh man, when I was younger, those guys were those guys were jerks. Like they were hard to beat and all. But basically what zombie bots do is they thrash around and try to kick your ass through those methods. So that's why the scatter that's why they gave you a scatter blaster because it's a close up weapon that does very good against enemies that are attacking you from from a very close area. You got some mills hanging from strings here. It's pretty gruesome if you ask me. There's another zombie bot here. Now we got a new weapon. This is a, well, not a weapon, but this is a secondary weapon. It's called the scope, and what it oh, and uh, what it does is it can be used with certain weapons to aim at a two times and four times zoom for basically. Like, for, for improving accuracy. Like, I can use it with my spew here. And it actually says target WTF, if you actually look on that. I like that touch. Because, like, the machine doesn't even know what it is. Um, some weapons this can't be used with. Like the rocket launcher. Can be used with the spew the Ripper and the and the uh, fucking Rivicum, oh jeez. And uh, right here over here, you got a secret chip. I know where they all are in this one, guys, so don't worry. I'll try to get them. Oh shit, we got the Scarab Blaster. So we actually have a new enemy over here. This is a rocket launch. This is a green mill. Or a green mill grunt. Oh shit. And uh, basically those guys use rocket launchers. They're the they're basically like the powerhouses of the mill grunts. Of the mill grunts. 
Oh yeah, by the way, coring charges on zombie bots um, work really well against zombie bots. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh, thank the lord. Oh fuck, I need help. Holy hell. Oh, good thing there's some health here. Hey guys, sorry about that cut there. My camcorder was actually full, so I had to delete some videos. But anyway, onward. With the level. This can be kind of a long one, too, if you keep losing. Here's a close-up view of the um, rocket launcher mill. I also actually use a coring chart in this guy. I'm not using any of those damn things. Hey, dude, I saved your life. Fuck you. Shit, there's another one. Fuck. These guys are fucking animals, man. Ah, oh, crap. I'm probably gonna die here, holy jeez. For some reason, something falls on these mills. The old zombie bots probably did that. Holy hell, I need help. I think a zombie bot jumps you here. Okay, what's well, actually up here? Never been up here. Oh, you can't go up there. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I can't believe we haven't done, uh, no, I'm not saying that. No, I'm actually gonna, oh shit. I'm actually gonna look at this one guy in my scope. There's a, there's a black grunt over here. And, uh, yeah, that's a black grunt. The, they, uh, these guys have rivet guns, and, but they have, Firing, they shoot rivet guns that shoot, that have fiery arrows. Well, not fiery arrows, but arrows that explode after being shot. Okay, I'm probably gonna die here. Well, there's a reason for that. But I don't want to spoil anything. Oh shit. Show that asshole. Now as you can see, the, you can actually cut these wires here. And what you can do is you can actually um, kill these bastards before they end up a shot at you. There we go. We have to conserve our rivet gun ammo. Holy shit! I'm just, I'm dying here, guys. I'm dying. Not in real life, of course. In the game, like, look at our health meter. Look at our health meter. Oh, our health bar. Either one. So low. Now be careful here. Some bastards are gonna jump out at us. Well, run out at us, technically. I think I missed a secret ship. I may very well have. Oh 
shit. You're gonna fucking kill me. Need help. Okay. Holy shit. Like level one health we got here. Holy crap. As you can see, there's actually zombie bots in cages. I'm getting my ripper out here, and you're probably thinking, dude, don't get your ripper out, they'll kill you. But they actually won't. If you free these guys, they actually become your friends. So that's cool. Ain't it? the tension. So these guys are just going to wail on these mills. They will come back to life like regular zombie bots. I think I forgot to mention that too. If it, Once you kill a zombie bot, it's not done for good. It'll just come back to life after you kill it once. But then after that, it won't come back. Unless you att unless you throw multiple coring charges at it, because then it won't actually count as dying. So yeah. So actually, right here, we have some we have some magma bombs, and those are powerful grenades, guys. You're gonna want to save those. Do not waste those. Trust me. Oh shit. I say oh shit because we have low health here. No, oh, I'm, I'm, we gotta kill you. Sorry, but I'm young. We need. I need the health, man. I need the health. So the guy just used our one revive. Shit. Damn, fool, I am just low on health. Oh yeah, try not to shoot around this area ha in havoc. Because there are barrels around here that will explode. With an unpleasant surprise. So yeah, I do know where all the secrets are. I'll, I will be getting all of them. <coughs> Coin charge. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I just killed my- I killed both of them! Ah, and I died. Alright guys, back. And... Off camera. I- well, it was sort of on camera. I heard a mill grunt say something I never heard him say before. I really kinda wish I got that on camera. We only have one partner here this time. Guys, that moment that moment where you kill Milgrunt with a with a scatter blaster from far distance. From a far distance. That moment when you GG. Okay, that's getting old. I said it twice and it's getting old already. Yeah. I have more health this time, cause if you get to a checkpoint with like not with like not a lot of health, with like all li little to none, little to no health, then the game will actually give you like a full bar of health. Like not full health, but you get what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. Watch this. for it.
I kind of find, I'm sorry, I just kind of find that, I just kind of find that funny how, like, Colonel Ally will actually say that if you wait around too long. It kind of surprised me for a second, actually, because I wasn't expecting it. Well, I mean, I was, but, like, I didn't know when he was going to say it. Kill this bastard, holy shit. Get a number on me. Make sure not for some reason your reticule turns red when you aim at this. I'm not sure why, because you can't destroy it, oddly enough. Oh, there's some stuff over here. Not a chance. I wasn't about to make some internet meme there. I mean, it would have cool if I did, but I'm not popular enough for that. Unfortunately. So some zombie bots will actually form here. Holy shit. Get away, get away. Shit. The GG. The GG is real. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Ah, damn it. GG. Okay, guys, I'm back from killing these guys again. So, it's not too apparent what you have to do here. You actually have to shoot this little tab here, I guess you could say. It's kind of black. My reticule is glowing on it. Wait. Dude, can you move? I think you can shoot it with a mining laser. Let's try with the ripper. Fine game. I'll use a gun that means something. Apparently that's how they want me to do it. Fuck. Holy balls, guys. This level is just... Bringing out the worst of my playing skills. Of metal arms. This level is not all that easy either. It can kind of take a little while if you keep dying. Yeah. We didn't really have to do that, but. Holy crap, derp. Derpity derp derp. A ding 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 derp. The derp is real, guys. I'm saying guys in this episode, because I'm trying to talk to you. Guys. Bastard. Holy shit. My health is non-existent at this point. Okay, good thing they gave you two of these. Okay, be careful here. Be ready with your rocket launcher. Oh, we can snipe these guys. As needed. Oh no, 
this is like the movies. Okay, no. Sorry, I just had to quote that. Holy crap, he was stuck. And now he's unstuck. Yeah. That's gonna sound weird in recording. I mean, not in the recording, but the, um, watching this video. So it's weird how zombie bots can attack when they're dying for their first time. Like, you can see their claws slashing in the air. I find that kind of... weird. So this last secret chip, we haven't found it yet. It's pretty tricky, but it's really just down here. I mean, it's not too hard to get, but it's hard to find. So, yeah. Don't feel bad if you didn't get that one. Personally, I didn't either. My first time through. And we're talking about my first. And we're talking like my first time through when I was a lot younger than I am now. I love when they say that. By the way, it's one of my favorite mill dialogues or mill grunt dialogues. do for this last part I just like to say I just like to say fuck it and run through cuz we're at the end of the level no speed chip but that's okay not going for 100% in this let's play so yeah we beat this level they live Next time on Metal Arms Got System, we're going to be doing, we're going to be continuing on in the Wastelands, in Dimbar Chasm, and hopefully getting closer to Vlats. See you guys then.